Um, fortunately, we have connections with Tesla, um, who have the Optimus hand, and we're actually actively working on giving Alex an Optimus hand so that he could actually control it in his real life. Um, and here's the actual replay of the end of that video using Alex's neural signals on an Optimus hand. Sean, if you want to play that. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, let me, let me add, maybe add a few things to, to that, uh, which is, um, so um, as we advance the neural link devices, uh, you should be able to actually have uh, full body con control and sensors from an Optimus robot. So you could basically inhabit an Optimus robot. It's so not just the hand, um, the, whole, the whole thing. Um, so you could like basically mentally remote into an Optimus robot and, and uh, be kind of cool. The future's going to be weird, um, but, and, <laughs> but, but pretty cool. Um, and then um, now obviously another thing that can be done also is like for people that have, say, lost uh, a limb, uh, lost an arm or a leg or something like that, then uh, we think in the future we'll be able to attach an Optimus arm or legs and uh, so you kind of like, I don't know if you remember that scene from uh, Star Wars where Luke Skywalker gets his hand, you know, chopped off with a lightsaber and he gets kind of a robot hand. And um, I think that's the kind of thing that uh, we'll be able to do in the future uh, working with uh, Neuralink and Tesla. So, um, so that it goes far beyond just operating a, a robot hand but replacing limbs and, and having kind of a whole body robot experience. And then I think an, another thing that uh, will be possible, I, um, I think is, very likely in the future is to be able to bridge the, the, uh, where the damaged neurons are. So you can take the signal from the brain and, um, and transmit that signal past where the neurons are damaged or strained uh, to the rest of the body. So you could uh, reanimate the body so that if you have a neural link implant in the brain and then one in the spinal cord, then you, you can actually bridge the signals and you could walk again and have full body functionality. Obviously, that's what people would prefer, um, to be clear. <laughs> we realize that that would be the preferred outcome. And, um, and so that even if you have a broken neck, or if, uh, you could still, we believe, I'm, I'm actually, at this point, I'd say fairly confident that at some point in the future, we'll be able to restore full body functionality.